Falling to pieces in my brain Coming over and that's good I could use a little something to do Got some snow in the past few days. It has been a icy mess. Okay, vlog. Welcome back. We have gotten a lot of ice and snow uh, since the last time I picked up the camera. Uh, I think it was Sunday. We were driving home from Massanutten. We were driving through a lot of snow and then Monday night we got hit with a pretty bad snowstorm, no school on Tuesday, it's literally all ice now, um, but today's Wednesday, so there's been a day of like roads being cleared and everything, I think we're pretty good, and I'm going to go to Panera because I've been stuck in the house and I feel crazy, but the most amazing husband in the whole world is clearing my car off right now, so it is pretty nice, I just get to sit in this warm car, I came out and turned it on like a while ago. So now it's all toasty and warm in here, and I think we're looking pretty good. Gonna uh, go enjoy a little work day at Panera and get some stuff done. I want to make sure I have everything actually. Thank you, babe. All right, you're good. I love you. I'll see you in a little. Um. So. Today, or last night actually, was the first day I I broke out the parka too. So, um, it's that time of year, guys, where it's just time to bundle and it just doesn't matter what, you, what it looks like. I know this coat isn't the cutest, but it is warm and it has done me a lot of good in the past like 10 years. I think I got it in 2016. Um, so not 10 years, but close. like. I've had this coat for a long time. I think I got it my sophomore year of college because I went to school, maybe even my freshman freshman year. I went to school with this like little green parka and <laughs> quickly realized that was not gonna cut it with um, the freezing, nasty wind chill there is at Virginia Tech, especially going through the, um, the drill field, like which is a big open field with, is just like a wind tunnel. So I quickly was like, okay, this is not gonna work when I think I bought it at the Roanoke Mall. If I am thinking correctly, maybe I came home and bought it, but um, I'm pretty sure Matt and I went to the Roanoke Mall and bought it. Um, but ooh, now that I'm picking up speed, all the ice is, like the leftover snow and ice is flying up my windshield. But it looks so pretty. It's like a winter wonderland. I love the snow. I'm kind of thriving. <laughs> I really do enjoy it. Um, hopefully the roads are good enough to be driving. They seem fine right now, but there's no one on the road. I'm the only car I see. So the lakes are officially freezing. It's almost that time where people can start ice skating on the lakes. I think it's gonna be like cold enough. It's not supposed to get over freezing for the next like week and a half. So it's definitely gonna be chilly. And then next weekend, hopefully the weather is better by then because I'm going up to the Poconos and I'm going to be driving um, me and my cousins. We're going for a bachelorette party. So that will be a fun weekend. But since I'm obviously like pregnant and sober, I'm going to be the designated driver, especially like while we're there because we're doing like wineries and things that I'm not really going to be able to participate in. So I'm just going to go and hang and um, be the DD. <laughs> so that is the plan for next weekend um but yeah so far nothing's really going on this week i do want to show you all the baby clothes i picked up from massanutten when i went shopping i haven't shown you guys they're still just sitting in the front front room i haven't even done anything with them yet but that's that made it. I'm gonna take the glasses off. Um, I feel like I look really crazy. Car off. But I hurt my back last night and I know, I'm sure it's like pregnancy related um, that I like keep, my lower back has been out of this world. Like I hurt it every like week I feel like. And this has been the worst one. Usually it just hurts at night and then I, by the time I wake up, I'm okay again. Oh, I think my keys are in there somewhere. I got my cinnamon crunch bagel. 
my salt, uh, my caramel latte. I did get the coffee today. I have been trying to wean off of the Diet Coke. Um, Matt and my mom have both kind of been on my butt about the aspartame and being pregnant. There are studies now that like autism could be linked to Diet Coke, which I don't know how much <laughs> I believe, but I'm still gonna drink every once in a while, just not every, like all the time like I kind of was. I was definitely less than before pregnancy, but still at least like two, three times a week. So I'm gonna try to do like once, maybe every two to three weeks and I'll be fine. Um, bagel, coffee, gonna do my work and get some stuff done. Back in the car. I was actually in there for a good amount of time. I gotta get home. I actually have to stop and pick up some stuff for dinner really quick though. Like just a few little things that I don't have at the house. Do it this way. I can't get out of this spot very easily. But it's still freezing. My back is killing me. And when you're pregnant, you can't use like icy hot or um like Ben Gay or anything like that. And I really want to just put on my back. It hurts so bad. I, I was like going down to pick up my lotion last night after I showered. And I did like my yoga last night. I was stretching. Um, I was having a little bit of back pain before, but I went down to pick up my lotion and I felt it like tweak. And I was like, oh, I could not get up. I was like stuck on the ground. Matt literally had to come pick me up off the ground. It was the most painful thing ever. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I shouldn't have tried that. Um, did a lot of good work in there, so I'm really proud of myself. I got a lot done. I also worked on my registry a lot. So I have my baby list registry, my Amazon registry, which is like 90% of it. And then I do have a target registry of just like a few odds and ends, which honestly could be on the Amazon registry. But I was just in Target one day. I'm just like, oh, I want this, I want this, and like scanning stuff, so I have that. Um, but I am gonna share the registries with you guys. I think I have pretty much everything. Today I added the high chair. I was doing a bunch of research, so like high chair, um, monitor, bassinet, and um, that might be it, but like a few of the bigger, oh, and the diaper pail. I wanted to research diaper pails. So a few of the bigger things are now added to the registry and i'm going to share the registry with you guys for the purposes of all my mamas out there that are in the same boat as me kind of struggling i had no idea where to start and i really had to look at my friend's registry to get myself situated and like know what i wanted on there and honestly once you get started you feel a lot better about it but like starting that task is very intimidating because there's just so many things you need and as a like first time mom you have no idea what those things are so I'm going to be sharing. I'll actually have a link down in the description below. And somebody did ask for the link in one of my previous vlogs to buy me a present for the baby. And that is so generous and awesome and sweet. Like, I love that. But please do not feel like you have to buy presents for the baby from the registry. I just want to share it for you guys to have like knowledge and hopefully it helps you in any sort of capacity while you're trying to plan your registry. Um, so I'm gonna share it. Of course I have to look through the baby stuff every single time I come into this store now. It's just all too cute. Clearance. Clearance has been like my favorite because everything is so cheap and yeah, $4. Like, you can't beat it. Okay, quickly just had to get some sour cream, cheese, and taco sauce. And I left there very quickly without buying any baby things because we are still six months away and baby's closet is pretty full. <laughs> and that's all just from me spending a crap ton of money because it's something that excites me. And I'm okay with that. Like, I don't find that to be an issue. But I definitely need to slow down. Because if I continue at this rate for six more months, it's going to be a little overboard. So, um, 
I am gonna put on my baby shower invite though that I want people to solely buy from the registry. I'm gonna have to find a nice way to say that because I know that sounds a little harsh, but uh, so many people, especially like I do it too, and like baby clothes is just a fun thing to buy. I understand that, and people want to buy that for your baby. But there are things that like I need from my baby registry and I'm not gonna be buying. Like, I feel like buying the clothes is a fun thing for the mom to be able to do. And yes, like a few things for the shower is all a-okay too, but I definitely um, would prefer people just to buy off my registry rather than like buying clothes and stuff for the baby. So I'm gonna say that somehow in a nice way. I did Google it and there are like a ton of samples of like how to word that because I don't wanna come off rude, but at the same time I just want to receive what I need rather than like random stuff that they want to buy me I mean I'm grateful for anything don't get me wrong but I think you understand if <laughs> I don't mean to be coming off rude if it's coming off rude I apologize um, but I enjoy buying the clothes so that's that and also I want a quick survey <laughs> let me know down in the comments if you're a mom uh, new mom like gonna be giving birth sometime soon or you're already a mom and you've had a baby shower let me know how soon before your due date you have your shower because I have two weekends in mind one I really want to do it outside at my parents house so it has to be like warmer due date is July 3rd one of the dates is June 1st which is my birthday which I thought would be like kind of fun to do it on my birthday and celebrate baby and everything all in one you know and that's a month before the due date so that's kind of pushing it the other date is may 11th which is mother's day weekend the saturday before and i just don't know if that's gonna be too cold that might be better timing wise but may is just so busy like i'm thinking may or obviously like first day of june because timing wise that works best for us but may is just gonna be so busy i just found out that we're doing a little girls trip to Nantucket with um, like Matt's, all the girls in Matt's family. So we're doing that in the middle of May. I wanna do my baby moon some point in May or late April. My cousin's uh, bridal shower is the first weekend of May and then her wedding is the second weekend of June. There's just like a ton <laughs> that's happening that time in my life. So it's definitely gonna be like a crazy full packed few months. So. Let me know what you guys think with the timing of baby shower. If it should be like closer to two months out or if one month is enough time to do it. I don't know. It's just kind of all craziness. So I feel productive today at least. Got a lot done off the registry. Now I'm going to go home. I have a meeting starting soon. And that will be my Wednesday. Today is 16 weeks, guys. I don't know if I mentioned that. I was just on the phone with my mom coming home. And we were talking about dinner. We have like a million turkeys left from Thanksgiving. Everyone got like a free turkey. And we have two more turkeys we have to use. So I'm doing like Thanksgiving dinner again tomorrow. Having my mom, my parents over, and my grandma over. And I forgot literally all the ingredients I needed for that. So I'm gonna have to go out to the store again anyway. So lovely. I'm sorry. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to do that, but I need like corn, I need gravy, I need probably green beans. I need a lot, so. Look at the backyard. <laughs> we have Frankie. With all the snow. It is so pretty. It's our first snow in our new house. And Frank doesn't seem to love it. Like, he doesn't like run around and enjoy it. He kind of just does his business, then comes back. <laughs> like, there's literally no paw prints all over there. But on other notes, I just walked in and. Matthew ordered this off the registry. I actually had it on the registry. I wanted to test out the registry, make sure like the address wasn't shown. And if you do an Amazon registry and place a $10 order, you get a free like registry bag. So I think this was 16 bucks and it's a little rubber ducky and it tells you the time and the temperature. Time's wrong, so we're gonna have to fix that. Um, but it tells you the temperature of the water, which is gonna be great for baby, but also for me because I would love to start taking baths again. And it is safe to take baths under 100 degrees, but nothing more than that. So I would just like to know the temperature of the water when I'm bathing. I'm gonna show you guys the baby clothes that I picked up over the weekend. 
I still haven't taken them out of the bags or done anything with them because I wanted to show you guys. Oh, Frank. So I did Ross, TJ Maxx, and Once Upon a Child, which was the thrift store. Frank just needs all the attention when I get home. He's like, Mom, what about me? I'm the most important babes. Okay, so we'll start with Ross. Come on, Frank. Hey. I know, you're precious. I know, I know, I know it. I know it. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay. Scooch your touche. Okay. Scooch. Okay. So here's a few things I got from Ross. Actually, this is not from Ross. These, <laughs> they must have just been thrown. Maybe I did get this at Ross. Yeah, I think it did actually. Yeah, I did. Okay. So these are like three little, um, you know, little thingies. This is a really cute green and white stripes. I'm still doing a lot of neutrals, and when I do bring in colors, it's like the greens, which I was doing for girls too, gender neutral, and then the blues, which I wasn't picking up blues for when I was trying to stay gender neutral. But I still like a lot of like the more neutrally things. So this is zero, uh, three to six months, and it was $7 for the three pack. So Ross is a really good place to find little outfits, and this one's so cute, it has acorns. I thought this was adorable. So I like these little guys. Next thing I grabbed also from Ross, I think. I'm like getting confused now. I think I just shoved everything back in bags. Um, but this little acorn set is really cute too. Again, gender neutral. I feel like it'll be good because then I can use it just for any gender we have next. Like I don't want to get all boy stuff and then have to rebuy for girl. I mean, I'm going to be excited to buy girl stuff too but you know what I mean so these are six to nine the last thing is this little set again so cute again not seeing prices but little striped onesie footsie and these are six to nine I think no zero to three these look bad <laughs> these look massively big um striped and then this little cute thing is farm like farm life little animals barn duckies geese's rooster so cute I like those things so okay moving on I got this at got this at TJ Maxx and it was on sale for ten dollars so really cute little knit set for ten bucks I'm like super happy about this I love knit sets so cute and I don't find this too girly some people may which is fine everyone has their own opinions but I think it's really cute and I love it and you can definitely like wear these separately so the pants with something else the sweater with something else and for 10 bucks, I thought that was a good deal. So, moving on to these little outfits. Nine bucks for the three of them. This one's cute, smile all day. And then we have this little star and blue one. And then this one is my favorite. This is so cute. These little faces, blue, green, yellow, kind of boyish, but honestly, I could put a girl in that too. So, um, then moving on to Once Upon a Child. I went in there for this specifically and just tell me freaking how cute these are. Like I can't even help myself. I think they're the most adorable little things in the world. Look how cute that is. Um, these are size 12 months, so like a year, I think. Yeah, 12 months. And these are just so cute. I like imagine it. Honestly, I might try to <laughs> have the baby in it like earlier than uh, than a year and do like a sweater under it. I feel like that'd be really cute in like March or like the colder winter months and just like layer under it with like a white sweater. But super cute. I did look really good for stains and nastiness on the stuff I got from Once Upon a Child and everything looked good. So I just thought these were so cute. They're like vintagey feeling and they're just adorable. I'd put a girl in this too and so cute. These were $5.50. So definitely good deals there. And if you can find like good things, I feel like this. I'll just want to wash a few times and I'll feel good about it. Um, next thing are these tiny little shorts. Look how cute these are. These are, I think, zero to three months. So perfect for when baby's born. $2.50. And I, again, checked really good and no stains or anything. So that was important to me. <laughs> the last thing is another pair of shorts, but these still had the tags on them. So I felt even better and um I thought these were cute again zero to three months and they were 250 so 
Frank is very interested. He is gonna not know what to do with himself. <laughs> a baby is here. Right, Frank? Um, but that's all the baby clothes I got. Look at him. Something on those shorts he wants. Like, it's this one specifically. And it's right in the crotch area, so that's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> do you smell something, Frank? <laughs> Why is this cracking me up? <laughs> He's so funny. Okay, that's enough of that. And then I also just picked up... Oh, I got these two little baby socks. How freaking adorable. These were five something for eight pairs. $5.99, all neutral. Thought those were good. And then for myself, I picked up some bras. Okay, Frank, back it up. This was a two pack of bras for $10. And they're just really comfy. Not, no wiring. They're just like sports bra-esque, but not sports bra. And I don't fit in any of my bras anymore. So I picked those up. They're really comfy. They're Lucky brand. And then I picked up a pair, a pack of some undies too, which I will not show. So that's that. That's everything I picked up. Now I can put all this stuff away. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm walking out my head through open windows. Cause that's what I feel like. Do it tonight. Waking up my brain. Maybe you can do the same. Just took Frank on a quick walk. It is freezing out. I had leggings, sweatpants, sweatshirt, this jacket, and then my winter coat, hat on. Uh, and I was still freezing, so we didn't do too far of a walk, but I got him some exercise, and now I'm trying to make a grocery list, and I remember I said something that I wanted, and now I don't remember it, but I know I need Stuff corn and gravy. Potatoes. I think we have, oh, we need milk, okay. Okay. Um, I said something I wanted that wasn't related to dinner Fruits tomorrow. Juice. Grapes, what? Fruit snacks and grapes. Yeah. Oh my. We're gonna head out to ShopRite. Matt has to drop something off for work. We have butter. We're gonna do mashed potatoes. Let's think about it. Do we want like green beans? We need a, some sort of a bean, a green. Let's get fresh green beans and just make them like on the skillet. We're doing corn. Just got home, focus, just got home from the store. And gonna quickly go through what we got. Green beans for tomorrow, grapes, huge craving recently. Um, pepperoni, we're gonna do like a frozen pizza, which I got cheese, cause that's what I like, but Matt wants pepperoni. Turkey gravy, milk for mashed potatoes, oil, we're gonna do vodka, pa um, vodka sauce pasta with chicken cutlets, so vodka sauce. Um, we needed some more salsa, a few cans of corn, one second Matt, corn, panko Italian breadcrumbs, some extra taco seasoning packs, and Matt picked up a little stir fry veggie bag for his dinner tonight. Dinner tonight is gonna be leftover tacos because we had tacos last night, for me at least. Matt's making a chicken stir fry. I thought this thing was just supposed to tell you if it was hot or cold at the bottom. No, I got a different one. It says the actual temperature. But I have a little bit of leftover taco meat from last night. And I'm just gonna do some leftover tacos for Dindin. I've been really enjoying tacos lately. Oh, though. Do you even know where it went in the fridge? What? The taco meat?
dinner is done pretty much all cleaned up and i'm gonna end the vlog here tomorrow we have my grandma coming over we're gonna do like a whole thanksgiving dinner do turkey the whole thing she's never seen the inside of my house so she's gonna come see my house and i left all my christmas decorations up for her and i can't wait to take them down right after because it's getting a little bit late so that is why the christmas tree is still up she really wanted to see it and we just haven't had a good time to have her over so i have a lot of cleaning to do tomorrow but i'm gonna end this vlog here and i will see you guys next time I come up